In this video, I'm going to show how to view the results of your test in Visual Studio. This uh, is the sample test that I've set up through a few video clips. We're executing a stored procedure. Uh, right now, we're passing in the value NY for New York, and we are going to compare it to the value 433, which is the number of students that we should have in New York. This test is targeted against the MS test framework. So I can actually just use the built-in tools within Visual Studio. So what I need to do is make sure my test is saved. I want to build my project, which you can do from the Build menu, and just Build Solution. And this should be a relatively quick operation. Assuming there's no problems, you'll see Build Succeeded down here in the status and then I can view my test. So the easiest way to do that is to go to the test menu, Windows, Test Explorer, and I can see the collection of tests that I have here. Uh, in this case, our test is named Test1, and I'm going to run all, and we see it start executing, and we see a failure. At the bottom, we can see some details on this. So this tells me that my assert that two values were equal failed. It expected the value 433, which is the number of students, but we actually had zero. Uh, so that means the stored procedure didn't return the value we were expecting. Well, I happen to know why this is. It's because it's not using abbreviations. It's using the entire state spelled out. So now that I've made that modification, I'm going to save. I'm going to build. My build succeeded. I'm going to go back to my Test Explorer window. I'm going to run all the tests again. And this time, we got a green indicating that the test passed. Uh, so this is um, all good to go. If I had more tests as part of my project, I would see multiple tests listed here. This is the standard Visual Studio testing functionality. So all the things that you're used to being able to do with that, uh, if you've had experience with it before, you can also do that using Legitest.